Hey everybody, Joy here. Ah! Um, oh, I was lady that hates it when I do that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not starting over. That's my I'm happy noise. So for the lady that can't stand the crazy lady that makes weird noises, I'm sorry, but that's my happy noise. <laughs> Why am I happy? Oh my gosh, it's December the 6th. It's a Wednesday, 2017. And I am all alone. Do you hear the sound of all alone? Ah, uh -huh. my daughter and I both love our alone time. And you know, I haven't been alone. And pardon my voice, I'm 99% all well, praise God. My body got well because God made our bodies to do that. But I still have kind of a, the other day I had a horrible frog in my voice. Sounded like this half dead bullfrog. <laughs> so today I still sound like a little frog, I guess. But anyway. I'm feeling much better, but, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> I'm such a dingbat. The lady's right. <laughs> oh, heavens. Anyway. Oh, yes, yes, my alone time, my alone time. Yes, the lady that stays with my mom, her name is Doreen, and she's a nurse. And I'm telling you, only God himself. For you that don't believe in God, all I can say is I'm really, really sorry because you're majorly wrong about that. And it is so wonderful to have God in my life because the Bible says that wisdom comes from God. So if you don't know God, I'm sorry, you don't have any wisdom. <laughs> That's what the Bible says. Don't yell at me. So anyway, yes, somehow God in his majesty knew the day was coming when I was going to be taking care of my mother. And he knew who I was going to need and when I was going to need her, and how much I was going to need her, and all the people I was going to need to help me, and he had it all lined out, all ready to go. I mean, I didn't even try to find this lady. I didn't even try to find her. Terry came over one day, and she said, I know this lady at church. You want me to see if she wants to help you with your mom? I'm like, I guess. I don't know why she would want to when she doesn't even know us, but okay. <laughs> so she is an RN. And she started taking care of my mom, I don't know, six months ago or however long it's been. But for the first time, she's staying there for three nights and four days. So Jerry and I could come up to our other town where our other business is for our office Christmas party. He's in a meeting all day today having to do with Medicare billing with a couple of our other employees. So we had to come up for that too. But tomorrow is the office Christmas luncheon that we have every single year. We're going to a place called Zio's, Z-I-O-S, and it's the only time I ever go there because it's way, way south in our town, uh, but it's an Italian restaurant, and I love it because the first thing they do is we have a long table, you know, with all our employees at it, and they bring all these loaves of bread and line them up, up and down the table, and, uh, and then they bring you oil and some kind of herbs that you mix in this little dish and you, dip, you break the bread off and dip it in it. I just love it. I don't know why I even order anything to eat because I think I eat two loaves of bread while I'm there. <laughs> but then all the employees are there and the girls all sit together and the boys all sit together and it's just, it's wonderful. It's just wonderful. I was afraid I was going to miss it this year. Number one, I didn't think I could leave mom. And number two, I have this nasty cold. But anyway, praise God forevermore. We are here. Jerry and I are alone. We went on a date last night. Oh! by ourselves. We went to Hideaway Pizza and I had my favorite pizza, Margarita Pizza. Oh, and he had his favorite everything in the whole restaurant thrown on top of it. So anyway, we really enjoyed that. And so then after that, I'm making these little gifts for Christmas. And I can't tell you what they are, but they require this certain product that comes from this certain store. And so after we uh, got through with our pizza, I said, let's go by this certain store and get this certain product. And so Jerry went with me, and I told him, I said, it's really heavy, so I need you to come in there with me. So I went in there, and I walked up to the cash register, and I told, asked the girl, I said, where is this certain product? She said, oh, I've never heard of that. Let me ask. So she gets on her little walkie-talkie, and she says, do we have such and such product here? And whoever she was talking to said, no, we don't carry that. And I thought, that's nonsense. I know this store has it. So I walked back to where I thought it would be, and another clerk walked up to me. Can I help you, ma'am? I said, yes, I'm looking for this certain product. She said, oh, we don't carry that here. I said, you have to carry it here. 
I said, the things that you sell here require that you have it. You can't sell part A without part B. You have to have it. Well, we don't have that here. I thought, that is absolute nonsense. She said, what do you do with it? I told her what we did with it. And I said, but that's not what it's for. That's just what we do with it. So she took us over to this aisle next to the cat aisle. Oops, I just kind of told you what kind of store it was. Erase that from your brain. <laughs> so anyway, we went next to this aisle. Walked up and down and up and down. It wasn't there. She said, we just don't carry it here. So finally, she went away, and I dragged Jerry over to this other aisle. And sure enough, there I was, a big as day. And so here came this lady. She followed us to where we went, the second clerk. And she said, what's that? And I said, this is it. This is what I've been looking for. She said, oh, well, I didn't know we carried that. <laughs> I'm like, duh, no joke. <laughs> Nobody in your store knows you carry it. So anyway, I was able to get it. So one of my projects today is to work with it and finish these things I'm building for Christmas. And so other than that, um, I'm going to go pick up Margaret, my friend Margaret, uh, and we're going to go to lunch at Panera Bread today and uh, enjoy me being able to escape all by myself and, and spend however long I want with her and not have to come back home for any reason. Oh my goodness. You know, my life used to be like this every day. I had a lot of alone time, and I really cherished it. I cherished it then because, you know, when you've raised kids, you know how precious it is to have alone time. So, anyway, I'm going to go to lunch with her, and then, I don't know, I'll probably just turn around and come home and work on my projects because tomorrow we have the Christmas party, and the next day we have to go back home. But I wanted to tell you guys something. And, of course, probably everybody out there, <laughs> I know, power tools with thread noses. <laughs> but I found the most wonderful, fun magazine. I guess it's a magazine. I just accidentally found it. Because, you know, I recently found that Missouri Star Quilt Company. Well, they send me an email every single day now because I signed up for them to do that. And I'm sorry the camera's so low. I want to show you something. That's why the camera's so low, so ignore my belly, okay? Um... I was on there one day, and it said that they had this certain thing. It's called the Block, B-L-O-C-K. Block. I guess I'd seen it before, but I didn't know what it was. I guess I thought it was a pattern for a quilt block or something. A block? What the heck is block? So anyway, I think they were on sale. And you could, like, get three of the older ones on sale or something. I don't know. But anyway, I ordered three of them. And I opened up my package the other day, and I sat down in my recliner upstairs and started to look at one. I was... So, so, a thousand percent impressed with it. I did find some misspelled words. I did find some left out words. <laughs> but I was amazed at the quality of the pictures. Every single pattern that they have in there, and there's bunches of them, has a story with it. And it's just like a short story, so you can read it in two minutes. And then it has a very excellent, well-drawn pattern for every quilt in every magazine. I just enjoyed it, enjoyed it, enjoyed it. So I want to tell everybody, go look at Missouri Star Quilt Company at their magazine called, I don't know if it's The Block or Block. And here I am sweating again in here because of the lights. So anyway, I wanted to tell you about that. I just noticed this morning that they have a 2018 calendar called The Block, but I've already bought like four calendars from Hobby Lobby, so I didn't order another calendar. So anyway, hold on one second for me. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I mopped the sweat off my face. So anyway, something else I wanted to tell you about. I'm sure all of you have seen this hideous new style. And if you're old like me, you probably agree with me. If you're some young girl, you're probably wearing them. But I think it is the most horrible style. I mean, even Peggy Sagers is showing people how to make it. It's those jeans in the stores that have all those cuts in them. They look like absolute rags chewed like a rat. And I'll tell you what, my employees better never show up to work in them because they will be sent right home to change. I don't care if they're new. I don't care if they cost $200. They are rags. I hate them. Now, turn to your neighbor and say, we don't have to listen to her. That's her opinion and we can go buy them if we want to. <laughs> this is my blog. As my sister says, well, it's all about you. Well, I don't know. Who she think my who she thinks my blog would be about? But yes, my blog is all about me. <laughs> well, if you don't like it, go watch somebody else's blog. But guess what? 
their blog is going to be about them. So, anyway, just saying that. Um, so, anyway, yes, I hate those jeans that look like somebody took a chainsaw and chopped them all up in pieces. I hate them, hate them. And so, the other day, when I was here before, and I had a sitter for a couple hours, I went to Penny's, and I was looking for... Um, I don't remember what I was looking for, but um, I think, oh yeah, I was looking for those shirts that my mom likes, those sweatshirts, which I didn't find. But while I was there, I walked by the jeans department, and I thought, oh, there's no way I'm buying those hideous jeans that are all torn up. But not only did they have those, on another table across from them, they had these cutest jeans. I just love them. Well, hello, I bought four pair of them. <laughs> So I have a pair on today and I'm going to show them to you. So if you're like me and you don't like your jeans shredded, J.C. Penney's and probably a whole bunch of other places have these really cute jeans with embroidery designs on them. So look, look, look. Let me see. Do I have a stool? Let me get a stool. Hold on, I have a stool right here. This is my Philly and me measuring each other stool. Let me stand on it and hope I don't fall down. Yes, can you see? I can't see it, but hopefully you can. Got a thread right there I need to cut it off. But can you see that? And this is a mild version. Some of them have embroidery all the way down the leg. Some of them have embroidery on both legs. But I kind of like the simple version. <laughs> and I just thought that was so pretty. So, I'm wearing my new embroidery jeans today to go out with Margaret. <laughs> so, I wanted to tell you all about that. Uh, if you never heard of JCPenney's or you don't have one, you can go online if you happen to like these jeans, okay? So, next thing I wanted to tell you is Terry. You know, my best friend Terry, my mother's favorite redhead. She and I have not seen each other for over a month. I was gone for three weeks, she was gone for two weeks, and we hadn't seen each other for a month. And so, we were texting the other night and she found out that Jerry and I were leaving again yesterday morning. Let me roll this up now that y'all have seen my jeans. Hold on. There you go. So, um, we were texting each other the other night, and Terry said, oh my gosh, I've just got to see you. Well, Jerry and I, you know, I've been sick, and I had already taken my sick pills, and I was already in bed. And so I said, okay, how about in the morning? Come over in the morning. So um, yesterday morning, we were waiting for the nurse to come to take care of Mom. She was supposed to be there at 8 o'clock, but she didn't get there at 10 o'clock. And I'm glad that she didn't because I was able to see Terry. So anyway, I was out in the garage dealing with the cats or something, and she came driving up. And she got out of her car, she came running over to me, and she grabbed me. <laughs> and she just hugged me and hugged me and hugged me. And I started to let go, and she said, No, I'm not letting you go. I'm going to keep hugging you. I missed you so much. <laughs> oh, my goodness, can that girl give you a hug? Oh, it was wonderful. It was healing. It was fabulous. I loved it. So anyway, we went from there into the coffee, of course. <laughs> and she went and hugged Mom, and... And I reminded Mom who she was, and Mom remembered she was her favorite redhead. And so then we sat down, and we talked, and we talked. And so we were just sitting there talking to each other at the bar. You know, she's here, and I'm here. And all of a sudden, she looked at me, and she said, You are so pretty. And I thought, Wow, she really did miss me. <laughs> and I said, Oh, baloney, I am not. She said, Really, you are. And so I said, Oh, well, thank you. So and it's like, Why are you telling us that? Well, I'm telling you that because I have something even better to tell you. <laughs> I mean, I have been happy ever since this happened, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I've been halfway depressed because I got sick and I wasn't able to hug and kiss my mother and I had to kind of stay away from her. So I've been kind of down for the last 10 days. So anyway, that was real the hug and her telling me I was pretty and us sitting there talking and everything. It made me so happy. So then she had to go home because Jared, the nurse, came and we told Mom goodbye and we got in the car. Actually, it was Jerry's truck and we started to drive out of town. So... We're driving, Jerry's driving, 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 and I remember that Terry had said that to me. And I turned to Jerry and I said, oh my God, Terry gave me the nicest compliment this morning. And I thought, you know, kind of back in my mind, I thought, oh, maybe he'll say, yeah, she's right or something. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon the cough, guys. So I told him, I said, Terry was sitting at the bar and all of a sudden she looked at me and she said, you're so pretty. And I said, oh, it was so sweet of her to say. I said, I know I'm old and wrinkled and I'm not that pretty anymore. And he didn't say anything. He did as usual. I'm ignoring you. And um, just kept driving. And so I thought, 
okay, whatever. So I just uh, quit talking. And all of a sudden, he turned to me as much as you can when you're driving. And he said, the thing about you, Joy, is you have natural beauty. Even when you don't have any makeup on, you are still pretty. Ah! You don't like my scream, lady. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, two happy happies yesterday. Two happy happies. <laughs> and Jerry won't touch me either. I mean, I want to jump over in his chair and kiss him. He's like, stay away from me. You have the plague. <laughs> but anyway. It made me so happy, and I have been smiling and happy ever since those two things happened. You know, I am very cognizant of people, especially older ladies, and ladies that work in restaurants, and um, I always compliment them, find something to compliment them about, either their service, or their hair, or their outfit, or how nice they look, or whatever, because I know how much it means. It is so healing. You know, when you get to be this age and, you know, you're all tummy and you got to lift your boobs with slings or they're down at your waist and your butt's flat and, you know, your ankles swell and you just think, what is wrong with my body? <laughs> and it's kind of depressing. <laughs> but when somebody takes the time to look you in the eye and notice you and give you a compliment, it is so healing. And I just love to do that. So, and during this Christmas season, I think so many people are so much nicer. I don't know what it is about it, but people just seem to be so nice so many places. So, anyway, I'll show you guys a picture I took at the beauty shop with the two ladies that were so sweet to my mom. And I complimented both of them several times. And anyway, I took the cutest picture while I was there. Um, if I can get it uh, uploaded on this uh, computer, I will show it to you and I'll put it right here. Okay, assuming that picture just showed up, <laughs> I came back just to tell you I've got to go. In fact, my phone just went ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling and it's probably Margaret wanting to know when I'm going to pick her up for lunch. <laughs> so, I'll let you go for now, but I just want you all to know you are beautiful women, and I love your comments, and I am so, so happy to almost know all of you. So, y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and maybe I'll be back tomorrow with pictures of our Christmas lunch. But, bye for now.